Welcome back to UPMR Evangelist Pilgrim Missions. I hope everyone has had a wonderful and peaceful week on your journey with our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Today we are going to continue our parable series of Jesus Christ. And we open our Bibles to the book of Luke, chapter 15, verse 8 through 10. And we find the parable of the lost coin. Or what woman, having ten silver coins, if she loses one coin, does not light a lamp, sweep the house, and search the caref carefully until she finds it? And when she has found it, she calls her friends and neighbors together, saying, Rejoice with me! For I have found the peace which I lost. Likewise I say to you, there is joy in the presence of the angels of God over one sinner who repents. Today let me tell you about the parable of the lost coin. You see, the woman only had ten silver coins to her name. And she lost one. She swept her house very carefully. She turned every candle on in the room to light up the room in hopes to find it. And you see that that woman, she knew that life without all ten silver coins at that very moment in time, without all ten, she was faced with a difficult time. But when she found it, she called her friends and her neighbors. She called her brothers and sisters in Christ to rejoice with her. For she had found the peace which was lost. And likewise, today, July 18, 2021, all these years later, when one person comes to the altar to repent one's sins and ask Jesus Christ into their heart, and they accept the Holy Ghost upon them and speak in other tongues, we rejoice as brothers and sisters in Christ for that one who repented their sins to God. We live in a world filled with heartache, betrayal, corruption, and greed. But just because we go to church on Sunday doesn't mean we've honored Jesus Christ fully. We must honor Jesus Christ daily just as that woman honored that lost coin daily. We must read our Bibles like she swept the house. We must get down on our knees and pray to Jesus and let the light of the angels upon us. You see, we must make disciples of all nations. 
as Jesus Christ told the twelve. All nations doesn't mean just the nation or township in Knoxville, Iowa. It's not just the state of Iowa. It's not just the country of the United States. But Jesus Christ said we must make disciples of all the nations. Not just the Israel nations. Not just the Jewish people. Not just the Asian nations. The European nations. The African nations. The South American and North American nations. But all nations. We must rejoice when a sinner repents. We must rejoice when a sinner is baptized. We must rejoice when a sinner accepts the Holy Spirit and walks in new life with Jesus Christ hand in hand. Today is much like the days of Noah. But this time we're not going to be saved by a flood. We're going to be saved by the tribulation. And we do not know when that comes. But we must get prepared. We must save the lost sheep in the harvest field. We must search for that lost sheep like the woman searched for that lost coin. And when we find a lost sheep, we must rejoice with our brothers and sisters in Christ. For... The joy of the presence of angels of God over one sinner that we find in the harvest field. Like the woman found that lost coin, we must rejoice with our friends and our neighbors today. Until next time, God bless.